More and more information is coming out about the corruption scandal in the European Parliament, pointing to Russian involvement. According to MEP Dominic Tachinsky, the $300 million that was transferred by Russia for lobbying in 20 countries mainly went to European Union countries. The MEP added that there was supposed to be a kind of price tag in EU institutions. One amendment cost €50,000. I repeat, this is not Morocco gate, this is not Qatar gate. These are much larger sums. I don't think a small country from the Gulf will be able to donate such sums towards corruption. The Belgian MEP who was stripped of his immunity by the European Parliament last week, Marc Tarabella, is suspected of accepting €140,000 for a resolution against Algeria. In recent years, the European Parliament has passed some 40 resolutions against Poland. We want to ask how this whole scandal, the gigantic corruption scandal, had an impact on the fact that there were resolutions passed against Poland. In addition to Tarabella, those implicated in the case include Maria Arena, Antonio Panzeri and Andrea Cosolino. All of these individuals are linked by the grouping to which the MEPs belong or have belonged. The new vice president, who was elected to replace the corrupt Eva Cayella, also comes from the Social Democratic Party. When you look at how many of these deputies, and those who are also former MEPs, from this political family, and they are corrupt, well, I would not lend money to this gentleman. <laughs> this is certainly not the last time the Parliamentary Committee has debated the problem of corruption and lobbying in the European Union Parliament. Accordingly, the President will ask the Speaker of the Sejm to appoint a standing subcommittee to continue these discussions. We hope that for the next subcommittee, if not personally, Madam Speaker of the Parliament will perhaps send a representative so that the representative will also listen to our opinions and our questions. In the wake of the scandal in the European Parliament, Chairwoman Roberta Metzola outlined a series of reforms to curb corrupt activities. This was certainly announced by the President of the Parliament, but it seems to have failed in this term. It will not be possible to make statements like Radoslav Sikorsky's that he makes €40,000 a month by giving some consultation. This statement will have to look like this. You will have to write who it is, what money and what is the effect of these consultations. Last week, Pierre Antonio Panzeri, President of the NGO Fighting Impunity, went to a settlement with Belgian services. Because this will include an ever-widening circle of those who have benefited from this type of lobbying, because this is not lobbying, it is a crime of corruption. And if this is the case, we will learn of new cases and perhaps new countries involved. The corruption scandal erupted after former European Parliament Vice President Eva Kaili was arrested in December. The Greek woman is suspected of accepting huge bribes from Qatar. Kaili will remain in pretrial detention in Belgium until at least the 22nd of January. Greek services are also investigating her case.